Hi guys, Lisa here with Mini Me in Tennessee and welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you a Sam's Club haul. I haven't done one of these in a really long time. I have been on a sort of research journey over the past week or so and I have decided that I'm going to try to eat a little bit cleaner than I do and eat less processed foods than I do. I tend to do that because I'm lazy and I don't like to cook very much and I am just buying all of the wrong things. So I've been researching a little bit, been watching some YouTube videos, trying to find out exactly what clean eating is exactly, what to look for in the ingredients list. My issue has always been I read the nutrition label, but I don't read the ingredients list. So if the macros fit, I'll buy it. I need to change that and change my way of thinking in regards to what I'm putting in my body. So I decided to go to Sam's Club and see what I could find as far as clean eating. Now, I don't claim to ever be perfect in this. I'm just trying to be better. Not everything I bought today was clean and I have to admit I struggled and finding clean things at Sam's Club. I'm curious to know if Costco might have better options. Those of you who are Costco shoppers, let me know about that. I don't have a Costco close to me, but adding a few extra miles on for better health might be worth it. Let me know what you think in comparison to what I found at Sam's Club. As I said, I did struggle to find stuff. There's not a lot of organic stuff there. There is not a lot of premium type meats there. There's not a lot of grass fed beef. I could not find any pasture raised eggs. They had some organic. I couldn't find any really good dairy. A chicken, I, I found some, I think I'm good. But those of you who are more experienced in this, you can let me know if I picked up the right thing. And there's a couple other things that I'm questioning. So once we get home, and I get into the grocery haul, I'll show you what I'm talking about, and then you guys can let me know whether I made the right choice or not, or what I should be looking for in the future. showing off for mom. What do you guys think? Hi, sis. Hello, Jasper. How are you doing, buddy? Were you a good boy? Were you a good boy? Were you a good boy when mama was good? Oh, Cece has to go potty. Oh, mama wasn't fast enough. First thing we have is some Maxwell House coffee. This is the House Blend Medium Roast. It is 100% Arabica coffee. What I would like to know particularly, does coffee have to be organic? I know some things do and some things don't. So let me know about coffee in the comments below. Premier protein. I just looked at the ingredients list and this is not clean, but I love my Premier protein. I have drank this since before I had my gastric bypass surgery. I drink it every single day. So if you know of a ready-made shake that has better ingredients than Premier, but tastes just as good, please let me know and I'll give it a try. I know there are several things in here that probably are not good. This should be expeller pressed and it's not. Artificial flavors, which we don't like. I don't know what cellulose gel and gum are, but it doesn't sound great. Sucralose I know is not the best. And this right here, I know this carrageenan, I know is a big no-no. And it has phosphates too. Curious to know what you guys think about protein shakes. Ready-made, because I'm lazy, right? Remember that, I'm lazy. <laughs> I need to get over that, right? In the way of vegetables, I couldn't find a lot of organic, but I am not a big veggie person. I'm very finicky. I don't like a lot of vegetables. Um, they did have some greens that were organic. They had spinach and they had a spring mix, but they were huge containers and my husband and I will waste those. We'll have to get those somewhere else. But I did pick up in the freezer 
some super sweet corn on the cob. This is the Members Mark brand, a 24 count. I did manage to find some organic petite carrots. These I can snack on. I need to find some good sour cream, some good clean sour cream to eat these with because I typically do like to dip them in something. That was a good find, I think. These are a lot for me because my husband doesn't eat these. But the puppies do like to snack on these, and I can freeze some of them, I think. Let me know how these freeze because I've never frozen these before. So let me know how that works. I picked up a six pack of the Allen's Italian Green Beans. I'm trying to remember if there was anything on the ingredients list that I had a question about. I don't think so. And I'm pretty sure that green beans are okay not being organic, but I'm not positive. You let me know. This is the Lasore brand. These are very young, small sweet peas. And this case has eight cans and they are 15 ounce cans. These are mine and my husband's favorite peas. I do not like frozen peas, guys. I know a lot of people buy them frozen. The ingredients are pretty good, except for the added sugar. Let's see how much do we have. One added sugar. Have you found anything that's better than this with no sugar in it? Well, let me know if you have. I'd be happy to try it out. I did find some organic sliced strawberries. This was the only frozen fruit that I found at Sam's that was organic. So I was super sad about that, but I am going to use these for a smoothie. In the fresh fruit area, I did find some organic blueberries. Organic fresh fruit was very sparse as well, but I do plan on just going ahead and freezing these. That way I can have them for smoothies. It is USDA certified organic. For sweeteners, I was looking for stevia. The only stevia they had was the um, Zuvia, and my research showed me that that was not a good choice. So I'm going to have to try to find that somewhere else. But I did find this organic maple syrup, and it's my understanding that natural type sweeteners like this are much better to use than artificial sweeteners. And it is, as you can see here, organic, which is very important, I think, for maple syrup. I'm not positive, but you can let me know on that. But I thought that was a really good find. On the honey, my question to you is, does it have to be organic? I'm not sure. Let me know what you think about that. This is the 100% pure organic raw in unfiltered honey. The only thing I, bad I heard about honey was be careful where it comes from. And not to have any that's from China. They cut it, put some sort of a rice syrup in it or something. This one is from Brazil and Uruguay. Pantry staples. I picked up some Himalayan pink salt. I read that this is better for you than regular iodized salt because it is in its natural form and it's not bleached. I did pick up a container grinder of the black peppercorn. I broke my grinder <laughs> and I really was in need of some peppercorn anyway. So I went ahead and just grabbed that. And I don't plan on buying a grinder right now. I'm gonna wait until we get into our new house so I can buy something really, really nice. And I don't wanna spend the money on it right now. So right now we're just going with this. In regards to olive oil, this is not organic, but I think it's gonna be okay. This is the Italian Extra Virgin Olive Oil. It is a product of Italy. And it does say it's made from 100% Italian olives. And my understanding is that when you buy olive oil, it needs to be in glass and it needs to be in a color glass, a dark glass. That way the light is not damaging it in any way. I don't remember exactly what the reasoning behind that was. I just remember that it's supposed to be in a dark glass. They did have an organic extra virgin olive oil there, but it was in plastic. So I opted for this one instead. This I decided to go ahead and grab. I'm gonna to try to make my own, but in the meantime, I wanted to go ahead and grab these because I was actually hungry was thinking about snacking on these in the car, but then I changed my mind and decided it was going to be unmindful snacking. Anywho, this will be really good for salads and those kinds of things. I like tuna, so this will be good for tuna salad. But this is the Member's Mark of Unbaked Parmesan Crisps. It's 100% Parmesan cheese. And there are the stats for you if you want to check those out. And our ingredients. I decided to pick up these natural shelled walnuts. I like nuts, but I'm very picky and finicky. But walnuts, I like. These are California walnuts. It is a three pound bag grown in the USA. I don't know what factory it's certified means. Non-GMO verified. 
add our ingredients, just plain old walnuts. There is the nutrition facts for you as well. And I also picked up the roasted and salted no shell pistachios. This is a one and a half pound bag. I heard that roasted nuts are good for you. It does something in the process of the roasting. It releases something that's good for you. I can't remember what it was. I am so overwhelmed with information right now. It's crazy. But ingredients is just pistachios and sea salt. And then we have our nutrition label. I opted for the unshelled. I know it's cheaper to buy them in the shell, but here again, Lazy Lisa. I did decide to allow myself one sweet treat. And out of all of the treats that I looked at, this is probably the best one I could find at my Sam's. Let me know what you think about this one. This one is certified vegan, no artificial colors or preservatives. It is non-GMO certified, certified gluten-free. This is the True North brand. And we have an almond pecan crunch, lightly sweetened nut clusters with almonds, pecans, and cashews. And it is a one and a half pound bag. And if we take a look at the ingredients, it looked pretty good to me. So we have almonds, brown rice syrup, pecans, cashews, organic sugar, sea salt, and high oleic sunflower oil. It would be better if that was expeller pressed, but other than that, of course, we do have sugar. Let's see. It's only four grams of included sugar. 10 carbs, 150 calories for about five clusters. Let's take a look and see how big the clusters are. We do have a serving right here. There's five clusters and they're pretty good size. I think this will make a really good sweet treat for me. Hopefully, I don't overindulge. At least if I do, it's something that's a little bit better for me and not the typical jug I have been eating. I did pick up this sharp and nutty members mark parmesan natural cheese and it does say keep refrigerated it is aged over 12 months here is our nutrition label and ingredients list i've never really paid much attention to ingredients in cheese i'm not sure if i did good or not <laughs> you let me know or if there's somewhere else that i should be buying my parmesan cheese they didn't have anything organic except one thing, and I'll show you that in a moment. But I thought it would be better to buy it in the block and then just grate it myself. This will be good for salads and also my attempt to make the Parmesan crisps on my own. This was the only thing I saw in the way of organic cheese. And I like string cheese. It's a good snack for me. This particular pack is by Organic Valley that may have fooled me. I'm just... Oh yeah, okay, it does say organic string cheese. There for a second, I thought I'd gotten fooled just by the name. That happens, right? It's 18 sticks in the pack, seven grams of protein, USDA organic. Looking at our nutrition label, organic cultured pasteurized part skin milk, salt, and vegetarian enzyme. Let me know about that business. I'm not familiar with any of that stuff. As I said, I haven't really done a whole lot of research in cheeses just yet. Here's something I have a question about. You guys, if you follow me, you know I typically pick up this 32 uh, bottle Dasani water. I understand that this is not that environmentally friendly. And I'm really not sure what is in this water. <laughs> I just realized this when I got home, I got to reading this label, enhanced with minerals for a pure fresh taste. I really feel like I have to buy the bottled waters right now. Our water in this apartment is disgusting and we will be here temporarily. So I don't want to invest in any type of water filtration system or anything like that. And my husband needs these types of containers for work. We've tried getting him in a tumbler. I've tried everything and it just has not worked. They are however, recyclable. I'm not quite sure about these little added ingredients here. Let me know what your thoughts are on this. Is there another bottled water out there that I should be looking for? As you saw, these are important for us when we're not home <laughs> and in the middle of the night for the puppies to go. Still buying these. I know they're not environmentally friendly. Hopefully when we get in our house and they have access to the outdoors more often, I can stop buying these. But for now, I do buy these and they are working for us, 120 pads. And there is the size in case you're curious. 
USA made. I guess that's a good thing. And then I picked up a couple of shirts. These were on clearance today. This is just a long sleeve white t-shirt. I've been looking for some things to just work out in and to clean in that I'm not too concerned about messing up. It just says Tennessee and it has a rainbow of the state outline. And then there's this little hooded sweatshirt and I think it was less than 10 bucks. I did go ahead and get them oversized so I can layer them. And then there's a cute little label right there and it is kangaroo pocket. This is uncured turkey bacon and the brand is Godshaw's. And we all know that turkey bacon is less fat, uh, gluten-free, no MSG. This is a two and a half pound package. And it says it's all natural turkey thighs, chopped and formed. And then no nitrates or nitrates added, except those naturally occurring in sea salt and celery powder. And it also says it not preserved. This one I was confused about. For the ingredients, we see turkey, water, vinegar, sea salt, raw sugar, and celery powder. But if you look at the nutrition facts, it says nothing about the sugar. So I'm confused about that. If you guys know what that means, please let me know. My husband will not eat turkey bacon, but I will. So I'm just going to split this up into individual little servings and freeze it and then just pull it out as I need it. If you know of a good place to get some clean pork, please let me know. I was a little excited to see this at Sam's. It's the only organic ground beef grass fed that I found. And I did find out from another YouTuber that this grass fed is 100%. And apparently this YouTuber emailed Sam's and asked them and they said it was 100% grass fed. And he urged them to put it on the label. I wish it were 80-20 because I like that better. No added hormones, no antibiotics ever. Product of USA. And we have our little U.S. inspected stamp here. I thought it was a really good price. This is, of course, a three pound package and it is $4.88 per pound. There is our ingredients list. And then, of course, our nutrition facts. This was the best chicken I could find. If you guys remember from past Sam's Halls, I usually bought that big bag of Tyson frozen chicken breast because it was such a good value but I'm not so sure that it was very clean. And I didn't even look at it, to be honest with you, because I was just certain it probably wasn't. So I went on the hunt for some clean chicken. And I did hear from another YouTuber, and I'll let you guys give me your thoughts on it, but that chicken thighs are actually better than chicken breast because the fat that's in the chicken thighs is actually a good fat. And that chicken breast is just very easy to dry it out when you cook it. So they recommend and they use chicken thighs. This is the boneless and skinless. Here it says it's non-GMO verified. USDA process verified. Raised with no antibiotics. Raised with non-GE, non-GMO grains. Never fed animal byproducts. Here is something that I was really looking for. The American Humane Certified. I'm thinking this was a good choice. It's not organic, but it seems to be pretty clean. This is not the cleanest, but it's not bad for sort of a pre-made entree. This is the Members Mark Mozzarella Chicken Meatballs. It's with mozzarella cheese, basil, and roasted garlic. All natural, gluten-free cage-free chicken, chicken raised without antibiotics. This is a two and a half pound package, 40 meatballs in two separate convenient packs. Three meatballs and only two carbs, so that's pretty good. Only one added sugar. We have chicken, mozzarella cheese, some enzymes, roasted garlic basil. I really don't see anything that's totally, totally bad, except for the vegetable oil. I wish they would have used a cleaner oil, but everything else to me seems to be pretty good. This is something I decided to pick up for one of those nights when I need something quick. 
you guys have tried these, let me know your thoughts. All right, guys, that does it for my Sam's Club haul. I think I did much better. You guys let me know what you think. I know a lot of you have been kicking me in the pants for eating so much processed foods. And thank you guys for that. I appreciate you doing that. You're only looking out for me. And the majority of you are really nice about it. Sometimes people aren't so nice. I don't know why they can't be nice. But for those of you who were nice about it, thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really do hope you enjoyed my video. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do that. And I will see you guys in the next one.